Lavender? Valerian? Hmm. Are you brewing a sleeping draught, Daniel? Uh, I was trying to, but apparently someone's used up the class's entire supply of flowerworm mucus. That would be Fisher and Colby. I heard they spread it on all the toilet seats in the sixth floor boys' bathroom. Of course they did. What am I gonna do now? I can't finish my sleeping draught without flubberworm mucus. You know, Hagrid keeps flubberworms for care of magical creatures. He might let you extract some mucus if you ask nicely. A great idea. It's just one problem. Asking nicely has never been my strong suit. Mind coming with me as backup? <laughs> sure, Daniel. Hagrid? Oh, hello there. Sorry, didn't hear you arrive. That poor hippogriff. What happened? Best I can figure out is something must have attacked her. Something big by the look of her injuries. I managed to stop the bleeding and clean up her wounds, but that's about all I can do without any essence of Dittany. Essence of Dittany? What's that? It's a healing solution made primarily of dried and crushed Dittany leaves, which are known for their medicinal properties. With the right dosage, Essence of Dittany can mend shallow wounds and regrow skin. Is it something you could build, Daniel? Of course. Then we just need to find some Dittany. If it's as useful a herb as you say, I'll bet the Herbology greenhouses have plenty. Well, that's the problem, you see. Madame Pomfrey used up all of Professor Sprout and Longbottom supply treating splinched sixth years. Apparently, apparition lessons aren't going so well this year. I was actually heading into the Forbidden Forest to harvest some more for Madame Pomfrey when I found Tear Talon. Tear Talon? That's what I've been calling the Hippogriff. Cute, isn't it? Not exactly the word I'd use. Anyhow. I plan to go back and get the Dittany once Terra Talon here calmed down some. I'm worried about leaving her alone in this state. Hagrid, what if Daniel and I went into the Forbidden Forest for you? Yeah, in exchange for some flobberworm mucus, we'll find the Dittany, bring it back, and brew a batch for Terra Talon. That's awful kind of you to offer, but I can't let you do that. Whatever hurt Terra Talon could still be out there. I know. But the longer Tear Talon goes without the essence of Dittany, the longer she'll be in pain. We'd stay with her, but she doesn't trust us like she does you. And you said it yourself. She can't be left alone right now. We'll be careful. We promise. Uh, all right. But be sure to keep an eye out. You never know what you'll find in that forest. I think this is the clearing where Hagrid spotted the Dittany. Let's start searching. Remember, we're looking for a long-stemmed, dark green plant with round leaves. Is this it? No, and don't touch it. That's aconite, sometimes called monk's hood or wolfsbane. Its leaves are very toxic. This looks like it could be Dittany. Not unless Dittany has a magical ability to suddenly turn black and sprout white flowers that I don't know about. Keep looking. Dark green stem and rounded leaves. This has to be Dittany. Yes, that's it. Lucky for us, it looks healthy too. Great. Let's harvest some, make the essence of Dittany, and... Hurry back to Hagrid before we find whatever attack Tear Talon to. You're back! Did you find the Dittany? Plenty. Daniel's brewing the essence of Dittany right now. He should be here any minute with it. Did you run into any trouble? Not at all. Whatever attack Tear Talon must have moved on. Speaking of which, how is she doing? 
she's hanging in there. But we should get that essence of Dickney on her wounds as soon as possible. What was that? Reckon you might have spoke too soon about Ter Talon's attacker moving on. The essence of Dittany's done. Told you I could brew it. I hope you made extra, Daniel. Because it looks like we might need some ourselves. Essence of Ditchy. Essence of Ditchy. Norwegian Ridgeback. Victory depends. Is that a colorful entrance? Essence of Ditchy. I hope so. Essence of Ditchy. Essence of Ditchy. Odeon Oberon. Potato Diabolica. Thunderstorm. To think Ter Talon's attacker was a forest troll. It's a wonder she didn't come out of the fight worse off. Our no trolls are notoriously violent and unpredictable. I think this one was so set on hunting a hippogriff. Lack of reliable sources of food, perhaps? Reckon I'll worry about that later. For now, I'm just glad everyone's safe, and Ter Talon's gonna get the treatment she needs. Thanks, you two. Ter Talon and I owe you a debt of gratitude. And some flubberworm mucus, of course. Daniel, there you are. I haven't seen you in days. What are you doing sneaking into the potions classroom this late? It's this new potion, Polyjuice. It's incredibly complicated and it takes forever. The lace wings alone took 21 days to stew. I've actually had to start over three times. That sounds like a lot of work for one potion. Why don't you ask Professor Slughorn for help? Well, technically I'm not supposed to be brewing it, so maybe don't mention it to anyone. Uh-huh. So, what's so special about this potion that makes it worth risking detention? Daniel, you're falling asleep. Let me help you. What can I do? Well, would you grab that jar of boomslang skin off a shelf? I don't want to leave the cauldron. I've invested too much for it to go wrong now. All right. I'll get it. Cheers. I would just need to, um, shred this and... Daniel, are you all right? Whoa! Almost fell asleep in my cauldron. That would have been bad. Go. Just get some rest. I'll finish the potion. Just don't tell anyone. I don't want to get into any trouble. Really? I hate to ask, but that would be a big help. I've got everything written down and it's almost done. I just need to... <sighs> Daniel, I've got this. Go get some sleep. Right, okay. I'm counting on you. Follow the instructions exactly.
This turned out perfect. Better than I imagined it would. Ready, brother? Yes, brother. I'm ready. Locomoto Wibbly! Stop it! You're going to hurt someone! Hmm. That's the point, isn't it? What are you saying? Did you just curse your brother on purpose? Of course he did. How else am I gonna know what it feels like? That was jelly legs, yeah? Quite right, brother. Was it painful? The uh, curse weren't, but oh, the fall were definitely a discomfort. Standing seems to be too difficult. Of course, <laughs> legs have gone all wobbly. <laughs> Excellent. All right, then. Let's get you back on your feet. I don't understand. I thought you were dueling. Hear that, Fisher? This one thinks that were a proper duel. Haven't been in many duels, have you? Not supposed to stand there and let your opponent have a free shot. We know how dueling works. Maybe so, maybe not. Either way, you won't be ready when the time comes to fight. Not like my brother and I. Together, we're practically unstoppable. That's right. We got experience. Now all the best curses. Jinxes and hexes too. And what they feel like. How else you supposed to know if you're getting better at it? The more it hurts, the more powerful it is. That's barbaric! It's not. It's a matter of trust. I trust my brother, and he trusts me. Ain't that right, brother? Yes, brother. It, it's like Father said. Trust each other and no one else. That's how we do. You see? Trust. I don't have to curse my friends to know who to trust. Maybe if you tried making a few more friends yourself, you'd understand that. We prefer to attack. If you're always on the defensive, you'll never win a duel. That's just common sense. I... I don't think that's right. No? Perhaps a demonstration is in order. Fine. A duel it is. You alright, brother? <laughs> I I'm fine. And this isn't over. was fun. Hopefully that'll teach those two that it's good to practice a few defensive spells. Do we really want them to be better at dueling? Oh, right. Though, they may have a point. What do you mean? Well, in a battle, it would be helpful to have allies who know how to cast curses, especially if there are two of them. In that case, we better make sure we get on their good side. The totem locomotive. Victory depends on that. Help is on the way. Send you. I'll get you for this. 